Hi guys, it's Lily. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and a part-time soap maker. And uh, I have been trying for days to bring you a soap making video. And I'll be darn if the camera shuts itself off in 15 minutes. So, oh my goodness. I give up. Um, I'm going to have to have my son look at it and see if it's he can fix something in the settings uh, I have no idea it's worse than my phone my phone only gives me 30 minutes and the camera is only giving me 15 and it's not restarting so I can't even splice them together so I made this soap yesterday and I tried to videotape it and it cut out the entire metal and then this morning I made my best-selling soap uh, my like top selling fragrance soap the Michael Kors dupe and it cut off the whole end <laughs> so I may cut that with you tomorrow um, this is also one of my best sellers it is 8th and Ocean um, I call it Miami Nights so I'm just gonna cut it with you because I don't know what the middle is gonna look like we never do it's always a surprise um, but yeah my frustration is even worse than it was when I started um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe eventually. And I got through that entire soap making process pretty much without a hitch. And, um, half of it was gone. So I was not happy. Anyway, this is a double batch that I made, uh, yesterday morning. And I have a log splitter here and I do need to split it. And it's barely going to fit in here. It's going to smush down a few of those things. But this is a tall and skinny mold. And it gives me... Uh, probably supposed to give me 20 bars total. But sometimes it ends up being about 18 if they're not... If my settings aren't set just right on my other cutter. But I will just push this through. Hopefully it's a very hard recipe... <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Let's just hope that the other cut is the same. So now I have two loaves of soap to cut. Wow, that turned out very nice. Yeah, happy with that. And one supposed to be supposed to be two and a half inches wide, but one is always just a little bit wider. I don't know why. Anyway, yeah, so let's see how to do this. What should be the best way to do this? Well, you can see. Let me see it that way. So they're supposed to be an inch wide. And they may or may not be. I measured, but you know, let me put it on this flat, flatter side. And we'll just see what we get. These bars end up being um, <laughs> between five and six ounces. Well, that one's not too, too great. It seems to be off to the side a little bit. This is definitely a side one. All right, something is up with my cutter here. I may have to go get my other cutter. Oh, no, it's fine. There we go. Well, I was hoping that was kind of a little bit more in the middle. But making a double soap like that, you know, sometimes it doesn't always come in the middle. But that's still a very pretty soap. Let's see what the other 
the other side is probably going to be the same. Most of the design went into the center of the soap. Oh, there's a little bit more towards the center. Again, this is called Miami Nights. Um, it's a very mature, beachy fragrance. Doesn't so much have um, the suntanny smell to it. It's more of a mature uh, ocean, ocean nightlife fragrance. Uh, it is a very popular scent for me. So I'll be making gift sets up with these. To include a sugar scrub, a solid body butter, and probably two bath bombs. Yeah, see, I'm only going to get nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm getting nine bars. So I'll end up with 18 and then uh, a couple smaller sample bars. So not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see what this one brings because it's going to be different. There's no two bars alike on these. Yep, see, this one has a bit more white. But yeah, very happy with my soaps. Not happy with the camera situation and the video situation. Oh, but that's all right. Very nice. So tomorrow I will have, uh, I did three batches. This is two batches. Tomorrow I will have three batches of the Microcores dupe soap to cut and show you yep turned out turned out pretty cool pretty happy with those So yeah, happy with the soap, not happy with the camera issue, um, but it is what it is. I'm such a messy soaper, so <laughs> I guess it's alright. There we go. Yep. So again, uh, there we go. This is Miami Nights. I will help hopefully put together several gift packs and I'll have a couple sample bars to send off in orders. I might cut those in two. That's pretty much almost a full bar of soap, but just a little bit shy. All right, so, well, you don't get a soap making video, but I'll give you a soap cutting video. So during my little uh, break from reselling, I mean, that's not a total break. I'm still packing orders. I'm still sharing my closet. I will haven't listed in four days, but I will be listing some tonight. Um, and I do have a couple boxes coming. Probably, maybe Sunday, maybe Monday. Um, I don't know, but I have another soap cutting coming from the soap I made this morning, and I will probably go my 99 cent thrift on Sunday, depending on when my boxes are coming. And I'm not going to tell you which boxes I got. <laughs> You know, I love Thread Up. I really do.
I know I'm going to get bad boxes sometimes. It doesn't mean I'm going to stop ordering from them because for the most part, um, they've done me well. I, and I'm happy with them. So, it's all good. So, anyway. Here's my soap. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the cutting of it since you didn't get to see the making of it. Um, and I'll work on that. Maybe you will one day. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Everyone have a great Friday weekend. Whatever. It's Friday here. So I will talk to you later. Lily out.